the new best AR on Black Ops 6, the Model L. So the XM4 may actually have a competitor for the new AR meta in Black Ops 6. And this AR is of course going to be the Model L. We ended up dropping over 100 kills on a tactical nuke using this insane Model L class setup. This thing has no recoil and might be the new next up AR. So if you guys do enjoy, make sure you guys drop a like. I just want to give a quick shout out to my Nodi gang. With all that being said, we're going to get running into it and I hope you guys do enjoy. Go time, capture the objective. Point is secure. Recon above. Hard point is active. Just working out the kinks. Hard point is secure. Okay. Hostiles have the hard point. Hard point locked down. Request received. UAV executed. UAV executed. Establish watchdog helo on station above. Avenger 1-6. Enter the car. Next up. Ten enemies removed. Hard point located. We've taken control. I need eyes overhead. UAV commencing. Head down, sniper. Hard point identified. Enemy sniper working. Hard point is active. UAV flight. Mark. Hostiles have captured the hard point. Stand by. Awaiting your order. Priming sim. Hard point locked down. Watchdog helo mission. Hostiles have the hard point. Bingo fuel, returning to base. 
I need my field upgrade. Because if not, I'm going to die and I'm on a nuke streak, so I need it right now. Field upgrade, come on. Yes. Hard point locked down. Hard point stacked. 25, 25. Hard point is secure. Hustle down to hard point. Hard point locked down. Nice, twenty seven. Point. Hard point active. Hard point is secure. Establish watch on the station above. Assault pack. Who needs ammo? Twenty nine. One more. Tossing Nice. There's the nuke, baby. See what I did in Verdansk. Oh, a little Verdansk callback. He said, you think that's bad? You should see what I did in Verdansk. That's pretty dope. Looks like we're going to be getting some Verdansk glory. Looks like we're going to be getting some Verdansk glory. Okay. I can rock with it. Dude, I honestly feel like this gun might be the new uh, AR Warzone meta when Warzone releases. Like, I really do feel like it's got that chance to uh, outgun the M4. The XM4 is great, don't get me wrong, but this thing feels like an OG C58 type vibe or like a low key AMAX. Uh, I'm just unlocking gold on this thing too. By the time I get out of this game, I'm definitely gonna have gold on it. And look at that. There's gold. There we go. Now we just need two more ARs and we will officially be able to unlock diamond on our gun. I'm just going to finish out this game using this gun so that way it could be a uh, YouTube gameplay. Enemy marksman's gone. Enemy CUAV inbound. Enemy UAV inbound. Hmm. No. I will say I really like the new uh, kill streak, like switching them. Alright, uh, my down. spidey sense is saying right here. Enemy 
They have a harp. Who gave them a harp? Who's frying on their other team? None of them. One of the, the, the top frag only has 26 kills. I don't know. Oh, well, I mean, it is going off a of score. Because it's not kill streaks, it's score streaks. So I guess it checks out. Whoever's on the uh, point like crazy is the one who got them that. You see, that's why I low key like score streaks better because it's gonna benefit everyone, like, no matter what type of player you are. If you like to play objective, you're gonna get some stuff. If you like to play for kills, you're gonna get those points anyway. So, score streaks for COD, it's just. It's better. You would think that kill streaks like give for more aggressive gameplay, but they really don't. It just promotes camping half of the time. So like score streaks is literally the best way to do it. Damn, this has been rough ever since I got my nuke. Only thing about uh, when you're unlocking these mastery camos is that um, by the time that I go back after I got dark matter, I'm probably not going to have every single gun to max level, um, which is fine. Like, you know, I, I'll probably get it done max level anyways when I go do the zombies grind. But for your typical normal player, they're gonna be finishing the camo grind, and like none of the cam, none of the guns are gonna be like max level. And so, like, I don't know. I don't know if that's a good thing because it means that only the completionists are gonna be going crazy in Warzone, or if it's a bad thing. Cause no one's gonna have shit. I mean, Warzone literally launches on November 14th. This is the quickest that a Warzone integration has ever happened so with this being the quickest that a warzone integration has ever happened you would think that they would want to give us more time you know what i mean but i guess not we just went on a little bit of a crazy streak right there by the way we gotta call in this uav or uav we gotta call in this nuke if uh we can't get them off this yeah we're gonna have to call this nuke in they're holding that like with their lives, so we gotta call it in. There we go. GG's. Little nuke. GG's. While unlocking gold, too, so you guys got to see me unlock gold. 103 and 11 with a 9 KD. GG. Alright guys, and here's going to be the Model L class that we're of course rocking in today's gameplay. So for the optic, we're using the Merlin Reflex just because it's one of the cleanest optics to be using in the game right now. For the muzzle, we're using the Suppressor to keep us undetected by the radar whenever we fire our weapon. Vertical foregrip for some more horizontal recoil control. Extended round mag because this is a perfect amount to be using on this AR. We only get a penalty of reload speed, which doesn't matter all too much. No ADS speed penalty. And lastly, for the fifth and final attachment, the quick draw grip for some more ADS speed. So. Give this model a class setup a try for yourselves. Let me know what you think down in the comment section down below. If you guys did come to enjoy today's gameplays, I highly recommend you guys go down below, drop a sub with the post notifications bell turned on. So that way you guys don't miss future uploads because you are not going to miss what we have planned here on the channel. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Later. Mm -hmm.